Hi guys, and welcome back to the Big Sew Along. Um, I hope you guys have all had a really fabulous week of sewing and doing whatever it is that you do. I was not nearly as prolific this week as I was the last week, um, but I did get some stuff done. I spent a lot of time um, cutting, so I got a couple of items done and I have about three or four that are cut and ready to sew for next week. But what I did for this week was this awesome shirt tunic thing that I'm wearing right now. I, um, I am a big knitter, um, which means that when the weather turns cooler, I like to wear sweaters. Um, and because of that, I oftentimes look for a shirt or a dress or tunic that's a little more fitted in the shoulders and the arms and across the chest, just so that it's easier for me to layer underneath the sweater. So my beloved Tina does not do a lot of items like that. So I decided to hack one. I um, used this pattern from uh, Cutting Line Designs. It's called Just a Pinch. I actually did the long sleeve version here, uh, but I did not do the, the pinched up front band. I just did, it just lay straight on mine. Um, but, I used this in combination with my Tina Gibbons poppy slip. Um, and I turned it into this tunic and I'll show you some pictures here, I hope, <laughs> as usual. Um, I really love the way this came out. I made this in a, um, it's, it's a cotton, uh, shirting cotton with a little bit of Lycra in it. This is from, uh, this is a, Lady McElroy fabric that I purchased from Stone Mountain and Daughters back in the spring. I don't know if this particular print is still available, but I will say that the uh, Lady McElroy shirt and cotton, it's really lovely. It's got like a super crisp hand, but it's not, um, it's not a heavy sharding. It's just, I, I really like it. It's got, I also think that that lycra in there gives it a little more um, drape. Than, than regular plain cotton, but it's not, it's not like a super lycra-y thing, so it's not heavy and dense like that. Anyways, I don't know how to explain it. It's very nice quality is all I can say. Um, and I love this print, which is why I purchased it. I'll show you an up close picture here of the, um, the print too. I think it's really cool. Like I said, I don't know that this is still available. When I bought this, I think it was available in two colors, this colorway, and then um, sort of the reverse with the the blue color as the background and then the lighter um, beigey colors as the print. Um, so down to business. This hack was really super easy. Um, I'm gonna show you here really quickly how I cut this. Okay, so this is kind of a big pattern piece but I'm hoping we can get it all in here. This is my shirt front and I hope you can see this on there. This is the um, shoulder, obviously. I have the front of my shirt butted right up against my selvage edge um, and then this is my poppy slip pattern and I am going to lay this right on top of my shirt pattern. I'm going to match it up right here at the underarm. So the underarm of my shirt is exactly in line with the underarm of my slip and I'm not going to pay attention to any of that other stuff that's going on up here or down here or anything else. I'm just gonna match that up and I'm going to make sure that this edge, it's it's maybe an inch and a half away from the front of my shirt, but I need to be sure that it's even all the way down and it looks like it's uneven. So I am gonna go like that, double check that my armhole is in the right place and it is. And now I'm just gonna take a ruler. I'm gonna check this and it is, I know it's right, right here, and that is an inch and three eighths, and that is an inch and three eighths, and that is an inch and not quite three eighths, that's an inch and three eighths, and now uh, this down here is also not quite. There we go, an inch and three eighths. Okay, so I just know that this is, this edge is the same distance away from the selvage edge all the way down. This 
arm, the armpit point on both my shirt and my slip are matching exactly. Now, the other thing you can see that's gonna be a little off is my neckline. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this back like this because I'm not gonna cut my slip neckline anyway. I'm just gonna fold it like that, hold it down with my weights. Now, I'm gonna cut all the way around my shirt. I'm gonna cut my neckline, my shoulder, my armhole, and then I'm gonna cut all the way around the slip. And then I'm gonna cut, I know you can't see, I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut straight across here and I'm gonna go right across this edge to the selfie jack again. Okay, I hope that makes sense. We're gonna give it a go. Sorry about the shaky camera. Where you really want to be sure you have a notch is at your center front. On this shirt pattern, I have a fold line and I have a center front, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark both of those. One, two. Then, with my ruler again, on my ruler again, I can see my center front of my um, shirt is, let's see, two and a half inches from the edge of my pattern. So I'm just going to make sure that I mark that also at the bottom. I know you can't see that because the camera's way off, but mark pretty notch two and a half, the same distance. You want to mark a notch at your um, center front at your hemline. Mine is two and a half inches. You'll just have to check your shirt pattern and see what yours is. Okay, so here we go. Here's the back of my shirt. I hope you can see that again. Um, here on this one, the underarm point comes up a little high. No problem. I am going to do the same thing I did before. I'm just going to lay my pattern, hopefully not mess up my shirt pattern in the process. Um, pins might be helpful there. So my shirt's going to go there. I'm going to line my slip up with the underarm exactly. And I'm going to make sure that it's straight. So now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to cut out around my um, shirt, my neck, my shoulder. Now on this one, you can see that my armhole is interfering with the shirt armhole. I want to be sure that I get my shirt armhole. So what you can do is just fold this whole thing back like this. To get your armhole. You don't need any of this stuff right here. So let's just get that out of the way. Now we can clearly cut right around here and we know that this matches up so that's fine. We're just going to follow this and then go around our shirt just like we did before. Okay then all we're going to do is um, put in any notches or marks that are on our shirt pattern and obviously they're just going to be in the neck, the shoulder, the sleeve, any notches or marks that you have there. Go ahead and put those in. Um, and then cut out your sleeves, collars, cuffs, whatever else you're putting on your shirt. Go ahead and cut those out according to the manufacturer's directions. Now on my shirt, um, I have a front placket that gets folded over. And I cut this all the way down the front of my shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my interfacing in my um, front placket too. Uh, and I think that's it. So that's it. I just cut it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward to cut it out. And then all I did in terms of construction was I followed the directions from my shirt pattern. Now, at the end of the day, my hems were off a little bit. Like the front was a little longer than the back or the back was a little longer than the front. It's really not that big of a deal. Just even it out when you get there. Um, I, I want to say something about the um, cutting line designs patterns before I forget. Um, if you'd like a tailored shirt, I think her, her patterns are really, really good. Uh, Louise Cutting is, uh, is the designer and she's been around for, I don't want to offend anybody, but she's been around a long time. She's really, really um, a genius pattern writer. 
Um, her instructions are really, really good. Um, she's one of the few people that is continually um, awarded like a top t sewing teacher awards in, in terms of, from like Threads Magazine, I think is who usually does that. Anyways, if you have not used one of her patterns before, I highly recommend trying them. If you've never made a shirt before, I highly recommend trying one of hers. Um, I think that they're uh, really, they're really good patterns. They're, they're drafted nicely and they, I, most of them are like this. They have like some interesting details and stuff, but they're also easy enough to hack into some other options. Um, particularly if you like the lag and look sort of um, style, you'll find some things in her patterns that are really suitable to, to that. So I'll leave a link to her website below, but definitely check that out. Um, I really love this pattern. This is the second or third time I've made this. Um, and I'm really happy with the way it came out. I had no other problems. So I followed my shirt pattern instructions, forgot where I was, I was on a Louise cutting love like letter there. Um, I, I um, followed the directions for the rest of the pattern, except obviously, I don't know if you can see this, but in this pattern, it's got like a little split hem and you know, whatnot. Well, I didn't do that because I used my poppy slip for the bottom. So no big deal. The only other thing I did do differently than the poppy is, and I did this on my original poppy slip as well. Um, I'll show you a close-up picture of this, but it I put elastic in the hem um, because this pattern bells out a lot, which is which what I like a lot about it. But I also wanted it to come back in, so more like a bubble shape. Um, I did think about putting darts in it, but then it's a little hard. You get into trouble trying to hem that. I mean, it needs a facing and whatnot, which, you know, I could have done. But I've done this elastic before, and I really like the way it turned out. And all I did was I surged my, um, the bottom edge of my shirt, um, and I sewed the elastic to, directly to that raw edge. And then I just folded it over, and I used a zigzag stitch, but you could technically just stretch it out and use, um, a straight stitch. I use a zigzag stitch because I think it makes it look more crinkly, which I really like. And I also just sort of hid that whole, all of that, the end of my elastic and everything got tucked down. Oh, nice thread. Sorry about that. Got tucked down in there underneath my um, button facing. So yeah, that's the only other thing I did different than uh, my shirt instructions. Now, I used to this shirt pattern you can use any shirt pattern you want. If you have a shirt pattern that fits you, you can use that. You could also pretty much use any slip pattern, I think, with this method. Um, I will probably do this again. I don't know if I'll use this shirt pattern or another one. I haven't decided. Um, but I will probably do this again with a Zelda because I love that like high, high front hem. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I really like that. Uh, so that's it. The only other thing I have to show you this week is, and you can kind of see it in these pictures. I don't really have much to say about it. I made the Briere, Briere or the Briere. I'm, I'm not sure I know how to say that slip, but, but I'll put a picture right here of the original. I made it in this, um, I just used, um, a rayon Bemberg. This is the Bemberg lining, um, in like this really like warm camelie color. I got this from Haberman Fabrics. Um, it, it's rayon, so it's light and airy. It washes really well. I love the way it wrinkles up, and I think it looks really good with my um, with my new shirt. I know you can't see it too well in the pictures. I don't have anything to say about this slip. I, the original, the pattern calls for two layers for the for the bottom portion for the skirt. I just have one because I'm really just using it as a slip instead of an overdress. Um, and I didn't do anything else to alter it. I cut a straight size medium and it was totally fine. Um, the only thing is the armhole is a little bit low. So next time I will probably raise the armhole about three quarters of an inch, maybe. I think that's it, you guys. I'm sorry, kind of, uh, kind of a slow week this week in terms of sewing, but this shirt took me a minute. I was, you know, I was actually really enjoying it, but I also spent a lot of time cutting other stuff, whatever, and knitting. I've been knitting like crazy. Um, so that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please, um, please hit subscribe and like, um, and come back again and see me next Thursday when I will have something else to show you. Bye now.